Good morning, everybody. Today is September 25th, 2019. Welcome to the Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube. We are working on week seven of Happy Camper. It's a beautiful design by Lori Holt of Be In My Bonnet, and I published that under my company, It's So Emma. We're on week seven, so we did an entire sew along, and I have decided that I'm just gonna do the very last tree. I'm not gonna show up close stitching today because I think y'all have seen a lot. But here is mine so far. And what I did, I changed my dog a little bit. I changed the font color. And I've just got to do this very last piece. And um, I did want to let you guys know that I stitched this on the 25 count Oatmeal Lugana that was designed by Lori Holt. We only have 84 left in stock. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up in case you wanted to get more, if you liked it, or if you haven't started yet. We will have more, but I just wanted to give all of my viewers a heads up because I don't want it to sell out and you'd be disappointed. We will be getting more soon, but you know, I don't know when that is. So um, 84 are left. I'm gonna grab myself some today too because I love it so much. So um, I don't know, let me know what y'all are up to this morning. I'm just going to stitch the bottom of this tree. And of course, this is the pattern. This is how the pattern looks, the front and the back. And it's a full color pattern. So really, really, really easy to read. So if you haven't tried one of the It's So My Patterns, they're amazing. I'm just going to brag on myself. myself. So um, let me know if you'll have any questions. I'm just going to stitch this last little piece, and then I have an exciting, exciting announcement to make. Mm -hmm. Okay. We do have a few questions that came in uh, when we started our pre-roll. From Rita Campbell says, Good morning from Canada. I was wondering if you stitch over two when working on 18 count linen, and also how many strands of thread you use with 18 count. So 18 count is usually an Ada, and I would stitch over one with two strands. So um, I would treat it like you would 14 count. It's just an Ada. Um, if it's an 18 count linen, I don't know exactly what that is. But I think it's probably an 18 count Ada. And can you repeat for everyone what fabric you're using today? So I am using 25 count Lugana. So you stitch over two. And I use two strands. Somebody, Some people use three strands. This is the front, which is like an oatmeal. Well, it doesn't really have to be the front. And then this is the back that's non-modeled. So you can see the difference in the color. So what's great about it is you can decide what you want to do based on the look of your piece. And you'll see in a little bit, Denise is stitching the same exact pattern with different floss and the back of the, she's using the other side of the fabric. So you can see how hers looks different. And then question from Janice Elders. Good morning from Kaiser, Oregon. I keep hearing the term fancy floss. Is this just a description of a type of floss or an actual brand of floss? So fancy floss is um, Priscilla and Chelsea of the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch came up with that word. They should just go ahead and trademark that. Mm -hmm. um, it's basically referring to floss that is not DMC. So it's basically hand dyed floss. They mostly use classic color works, but they use other people's also. And it's just a hand dyed floss that has a variegation in it and that is just what Priscilla and Chelsea it might be Chelsea that came up with it that's just kind of what they call it it's a more expensive floss it's still not even that expensive um, but it's basically just floss that has been dyed so that when you stitch on it or stitch with it you get a you get a, a, a look of you can have movement in your thread dun, 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 all done yay, yay. Oh, confetti cannon. Confetti cannon for me. I know. Okay, so my biggest question is how, how are you guys going to finish your piece? I'm not sure how I'm going to finish mine. My initial thought is um, Lori got this piece at Hobby Lobby. I was thinking about going to Hobby Lobby and getting the same piece, but painting it with her chalk paint and finishing it the same way, but just painting the um, the piece because I just don't. I don't have a lot of brown in my house. So let's see. So here it is, all done. I'll make it flat and pretty. Yay, yay, confetti cannon. 
Yay, so I think I'm gonna, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna finish it. It's very similar to Lori's, probably just copy her, but I'm gonna paint my, my wood. I don't know how I'm gonna paint it though, because I don't really paint. So there's mine, and I'm gonna show you all of everyone else's. So this one is Shelby's. I'm gonna put it on the board. And Thirty count portobello lemon. Thirty count portobello lemon. DMC. She's using DMC, and she has a little chubby dog in the back, and super cute. So hers is a little bit smaller, and she's snitch, stitch, stitching in a Q snap. This one is Cody's, and she is stitching on whitewash board, board fourteen count. And it is by Fabric Flair, and she is using the Cory Yoder DMC Floss Pack. And she has a little kitty in the back of her truck. And then this is Denise's. I know hers is so Texas. So she's doing blue bonnets and a red truck. And is that gray? The camper, yeah. The camper's gray. I like the so that is our happy camper, and then I'm going to announce the winner this week. Our winner is Shelly Phillips Edwards. It says, yay, it's done. I can't wait to frame it and give it to my in-laws for their camper. Yay. Super cute. I love that orange truck. <laughs> yay! Yeah. So now I'm going to announce a new event that is going to start in two weeks. It is going to start on October 9th and end on October 17th, and it is called Stitchtober. It is going to be in conjunction with Lori and I, and I'm sure tons of people are going to stitch along with us. Um, but basically, we're going to encourage you from the 9th through the 17th to just stitch on fall and Halloween items. To celebrate, we have put our fall and Halloween cross stitch patterns on sale 20% off for from today until next Thursday so you've got about eight or nine days to get all your supplies and next week I will be showing you what I'm gonna be stitching on during those nine days I'm not gonna do nine different projects I'm just gonna I'm gonna finish up some mania stuff that I've started I'm gonna finish up boo that I'm in the middle of I'm gonna take it as a time to finish up old stuff and then of course start new stuff and I will have lots of examples next week of finished products that are going to give you ideas on things that you could make, uh, things that I finished, things that Cheryl's finished, things that I'm in process of, um, lots of ideas. And we wanted to show you what we stitched to start off the Stitchtober. So I stitched this pillow. Ooh. So what we have done is put together a free download that you can download to celebrate and you can take Lori's patterns that are all 24 by 24 and insert whichever picture you want in there and it's a free download on one side of it we show you the floss colors that I used and the floss colors that Lori used and this is my floss card so we are we have DMC packs. Um, mine, I don't have very many, but we will have more tomorrow. But this is going to be my DMC pack. And if you want to make it just like me, here's the colors I used and the patterns I used. And I'm going to show you all the patterns that we used. So here's my version. And next week, I will also show you pictures of how I turned this into a pillow. So it's a 12 inch pillow. And now I'm going to show you Lori's. Lori's is right over here. So pretty. So she took her medium 8 inch frame and painted it. And we will talk next week about what paint we used, how she finished it, the back, all the things that she did to make hers hers. And so you can see she used that same exact border setting, but she used completely different floss. 
so pretty. It is. And I got to stitch with her when she made it. Of course, she made hers like so fast. She could she could stitch circles around me. So this is her floss card. And so you can see that if you bought the DMC floss pack, you would have all the colors. And then Denise was so awesome. And on the back, she put down exactly which pattern she used and what floss colors she used so that you can follow if you want to make it exactly like hers. And she signed it. It's so pretty. It says Stitchtober 2019, Lori Holt. Aww. And so next week we will talk about the different ways that she finished her stuff, like the color paint, the frame she used. We do sell the frame. Um, just some different techniques on what she used, what I used. And if you want to follow along and do what we're doing, we've got the two floss packs that I just showed you. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> but you do need the patterns. And so I'm going to show you in the patterns. So stitch cards B. All of these finish at 24 by 24 and so there's eight options here and they're all 24 by 24 so you I used some of these and some of these and so did Lori we just used different locations and we will have a blog post up on this soon that will have all the information that you need and then from Happy Farm Girl which is Lori's first pattern she used this little pear, the canning jar, and the little rooster. So even though this is not set in a grid, they are 24 by 24, which is why Lori did it that way, so that eventually you could mix and match. And then from her Farm Girl Fall, there are these nine. And next week I will show you how I have this one finished, which looks different than Lori's. And so basically Lori and I just took all of these patterns and just mixed and matched, picked our own floss, kind of did it our own way just to let you know, like if you have the patterns, you can mix and match, you can do different things. And the setting is free. So we're super excited about Stitchtober. And don't forget all the patterns are on sale. Now that is only patterns. And Dun, 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 dun. Let me know if you have questions on any of that before I keep going. Let's Sorry. Okay, let's see. We got lots of questions. Um, let me start. Oh, okay. So we had a question uh, from Gwen Smith about the winner. What does she win? The gift certificates of Fat Quarter Shop, and we have already emailed her the details. Mm. Okay. And then. Oh, just a cute shout out from the Dog Eared Stitcher. She said, good afternoon from England. It's 3 p.m. here. I rushed back to the grocery, from the grocery shopping every Wednesday so I can watch you ladies. Aww. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Um, and then Angie Mishler was asking, is there a leg on the back of Lori Holt's frame so they will stand upright on a tabletop? There is not. What you could do is right here, you could insert your own little piece that you get from Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever to stand up. Um, but no, what we do is we put them on easels. And this is, we just have easels. We have about 20 easels all over this office. Um, and so we just get them at um, Michael's or Hobby Lobby or wherever. And I have them all over my house. So we just set it up. And there are a few more questions here, um, but I'm going to save some of those towards the end. Okay, so I wanted to let you let you guys know that if you signed up for the Snow Village Club, which is the brand new series by Country Cottage Needleworks, the pattern arrived yesterday. If you sign up for the club, it will be shipping this Friday. So we're, we got the patterns yesterday. We're packing all the floss. If you have not signed up for that club, we are now sold out, but... Dun, dun, dun. I have decided since we sold out that I would put together some different and the reason we're sold out is Classic Color Works is sold out of some of the floss and they just cannot deliver us the floss so um, it's just a supply demand issue but I thought okay since we're sold out I'm gonna be fun and I picked this fabric because it's gray now it is 18 count I've never stitched on it so I'm hoping I can do it and I picked some floss I don't love it yet because obviously this just came yesterday. I don't love my choices yet, 
but today I'm going to be working on this and I'm going to finalize some choices and I'm going to stitch mine different so that if you're interested it's going to be all DMC so that it's easily attainable because I don't want you to be upset that we sold out of the floss because it's I mean sold out of the club because it's totally out of our control because they just can't deliver the floss fast enough um, so I'm gonna make mine really pretty I'm gonna start mine and I'm gonna give you some different options so that if you want to do something different you can and um, yeah I'm not perfectly happy with my colors but um, when I'm done it's gonna be nice mm -hmm. um, so there's that and then last week we had a lot of questions on checked Ada and checked Lugana actually checked Lugana so we have this color this is a barn board check and it's more of a brown and this is a gray check they're both 32 count Lugana and we had some questions on what would look good on that so we took our resident expert Cheryl and I have to sneeze Bless you. Sorry, excuse me. Thank you. So we basically asked her for some advice on what she thought would look good. So, first of all, this. Ooh, I'm going to show you the pattern next. So she started this. It is Harvest Time by Prairie Schooler. So this is an example of how you're stitching. I can never get these straight. Okay, there you go. This is kind of an example of what your stitches would look like on there. So there's one. And then I'm going to show you her second one, and then I'm going to just give you some ideas of what she thinks would look good on it. This one is Sony Creek Harvest Wishes. So first I'm just going to show you the piece. And um, she's been doing, these are pretty quick. I mean, she's started these since last week. Oh, I, know. I know. It's so cute, that turkey. So that is what your stitches will look like. Um, they're really beautiful. She's using, I can tell she's using fancy floss. It's really pretty. So I'm going to set these aside so I don't mess them up or get them dirty. And then I'm just going to show you some patterns she thinks would look good. So obviously, she, can you zoom in so I don't have to... Yeah. Sorry. Okay. There we go. So that's her first one. Happy Easter. And I'm going to just kind of put the cloth next to it just so you can kind of get a feel for how it would look. And either color. This is Home Sweet Home by Little House Needleworks. That would look great on it. And these are just examples of what we thought would look good or what Cheryl thought would look good. This I know would look good. I have this hanging in my home. This is called Heart and Home by Needle Bling. And I moved the E under the M and took off all the rest and it looks amazing. This is Silver Creek Samplers. Freedom Reigns. Freedom and I know that Priscilla is making this right now and she has this on the whitewashed linen whitewash board fabric flared and looks really good and she's doing a red barn and then this is pumpkins by little house needleworks and i think this would look amazing also of course i do i just anything with pumpkins and all of these a lot of these are pumpkin and fall and halloween theme which goes along with our stitchtober event and of course some of these patterns are 20 percent off this is My Country by Country Cottage Needleworks. This is Waxing Moon Autumn Blessing. And then of course, hello, Farm Girl Fall. That would be amazing. And Happy Farm Girl. So those are some ideas on the check. Can you hold the check up real quick so I can get like a super close up of yeah, it? Yeah, let me show the other color too. Okay. And let me take it out of the bag so that will help. So, let's see. And there's no Ada right now. 
This is what is available right now. Okay. Thank you. And then look at this. It would look so pretty on this. Ooh. Look, you did. Look, I should have stitched it on that. Oh, and I <laughs> stitched mine on. This is 25 count pewter Lugana. And then we thought what would be, we had some other questions on this new fabric that is called Petite Point, and it's Petite Point with no E. So first I'm going to show you the fabric, and then I'm going to show you some ideas. So this one is color Belfast, or actually, no, the color raw linen. raw linen, and it's more of a gray brown. This is white petite point on gray. That's my favorite. That's the one that I think I'm going to try my Snow Village on. And then this is on beige, which they look really nice together, but you can really see the difference. Now, if you take this away, it looks different than when you put the gray with it. Because I was kind of playing with these yesterday. This one is also really nice. This is white petite point on blue. And it's a really pretty blue. On camera, it's reading a tiny bit green. And in real life, it is not green at all. It is just a medium-ish blue. Dusty blue. Dusty blue. And this is another white petite point on gray. So those look nice together. So I'm going to show you, and these come in different sizes. These come in 18 count Ada, Ada and 36 count linen, I think. We're going to look real quick. So Cheryl stitched some of these up. She had some of these done, and then she started some of these for you guys. So these are some of the Prairie Schoolers. I don't think this is the same Prairie Schooler. No, yeah, that's 2019. So this one is 2019. The pattern's in here somewhere. We have a lot of patterns here. And then these she did a couple years ago. These are all Prairie Schoolers. And each year they come out with a Santa. They have now retired and Hoffman sold all of their designs to Hoffman and they released them over time. So this is 2009, 2019, 2016, 2017. So those are different Prairie Schoolers that are stitched up. And then we have some different ideas. And I'm just going to put the gray, since that is the most neutral color, and give you some ideas. This is Merry Christmas by Country Cottage Needleworks. That would be really pretty on there. And then this one is actually stitched on it. This is Merry Christmas, My Dear, and it's stitched on, I believe, the brown one, or the beige one. So we'll see. So And then this is Love by Country Cottage Needleworks. All dolled up by Little House Needleworks. Oh my gosh, vintage Christmas sampler. I want to make it again. I've already made it, but I want to totally make it again. And then Christmas Favorites by Prairie Schooler. And then this is a compilation. So this is a couple of Santas put together. So these are different ideas that we think would look great. So these are items that we think would look great on the Petite Point and the Checked Fabrics. So let me know if you have any questions on that. We just did that. We got a lot of requests for that. 
So we just put that together um, to see if y'all liked them. Of course, you know, in quilting or in cross stitch, you can make anything your own. And it's okay, like if you start a cross stitch, it's, I think it's easier on cross stitch to start and stop because you can start in the corner. And then if you don't like it, you can just pull it out and then start over um, and just save your cloth for something else. But I feel like it's easier to start and stop something in cross stitch than quilting because quilting is like, once you cut it, you can't like really uncut it. <laughs> so. Okay, um, from Sewing Becca, I think about the Chuck's fabric, she said, uh, but it's 30, it is 32 count. Have you tried it, Kimberly? No. Mm -mm. It's 32 count. I think that would probably be too small for me, but I'm doing the 18 count Ada. So um, I always believe you can do anything you set your mind to, but I have my bad eyesight. So we're going to see, um, but I, I do think I can do the 18 count, but I'm just kind of working slow and I, I like Ada. I don't think there's anything wrong with Ada. So, um, but you know, in, in the cloth, it's kind of whatever the manufacturer makes is what we can get. Uh, from Jaxby82, is there a way to tell if we've signed up for a club already? You can email Kathy, C-A-T-H-Y, at fatquartershop.com. You can also log in to your account and look at the look at the club section, maybe. I can't, off the top of my head, I don't have the computer right in front of me, but um, you, our customer service is happy to help, but you can see that easily in your um my cart section. I just, off the top of my head, I can't like remember how to do it. Um, Sorry, sure. Kathy's going to get a lot of emails, <laughs> but I can't like, I, I can't like walk you through that right on the, the fly. yeah. Um, Shelly Fry says, uh, I think it was about the snow village. She said, well, Kimberly kit her version up. Um, let me see. Um, first I got to pick my floss and then we got to check with DMC and see what we can get, but we can see. If we kitted it, it would probably be like a, a floss pack and then you buy everything, buy the pattern and the fabric separately just because um, the patterns come out over time. Mm -hmm. And they're going to come out every month for 11 months. Oh, I did have something else to say on the floss club. Can you get the um, insert so I can show, they're over there in the bin, so I can show how we showed the charts? Yes. So I did want to brag on Denise and Cody for this. So if you are in our club, I do want to let you know, when you get your club, this is the first side of your paper. It has descriptions and details on what the full size is if you're doing it as a full size and what the sizes are if you do it individually. And your piece of fabric will be big enough to do it either as one piece if you're going to do it as one piece, you would go to this website right here that we list to go to see how you're going to put it together as one piece. If you want to make them individual pieces, Denise has put together this diagram and you could cut apart and it has all the sizes and everything you need to cut that apart. If you want to cut that apart, and you can only get that if you were in the club. That's only for our club members. But it gives you, it tells you how, if you get your club piece, how you cut it so that you can make them either individually or as one big piece. Okay. And then from Wilma Evans, will there be a kit for October? I think she meant uh, the Sitchtober. So we are going to have floss packs. Both of those sheets that I showed you, there will be a floss pack for Lori's. There will be a floss pack for mine. The patterns, you would just buy whichever patterns you're interested in. Um, if you wanted to save money, you could just do the Farm Girl Fall right on it with those floss. Um, so it's just a lot of you probably already have a lot of Lori's patterns. And what we're trying to show you is how you can repurpose it. Because I've already made Farm Girl Fall. Let me show you. I was going to show you next week, but this is Farm Girl Fall, and I made this last year on 10 count, and then this is 25 count, and totally different colors. Now, obviously, there are different motifs in each, but it looks totally different, and so it's a way to repurpose patterns you might have already used, or just a way to like have fun and do something different and have a little bit of creative control. 
Um, and there are four different patterns. But So we will have floss packs, but not complete kits. And I can't wait until after next week because then I can go home and decorate. I'm decorating for fall. On Saturday, I've already told Kevin that I'm going to get him up at 8 a.m. And we're going to decorate for fall. I'm so excited. Okay, from Leany22, what fabric were both Kimberly's and Lori's October charts stitched on? So cute. October charts. I stitched on 25 count gray Lugana. And this is what it looks like. It comes in a big piece. And we also smell it. <laughs> sorry. Sell it in a smaller piece. Sorry. Lori's is stitched on the 25 count Lugana. And that is the one that I mentioned earlier will sell out because we it's the oatmeal color. We only as of this morning had 84 and last week we had a lot more. So um, I just want the people who watch my floss tube to know. Um, you know, because I don't want you to be upset when it sells out. Now, we have a ton on order. It should come soon. But, I, you know, it's coming from overseas, so I can't give you an exact date. But um, just heads up, I guess. And from Katrina Levy, on the 20 count, would you do over two? Yes. And for The 25 count, over two. And I use two strands. Some people prefer three strands. From Caleb Christman, will the Petite Point be a fabric in the Cross Stitch Fabric Club? No. Um, our Fabric Club is Wichelle, and um, we're just doing that more as a basic neutral palette. And the other cloth is a totally different company. Uh, from Judy Gibbons, are the Trio Santas full size? No. I'm going to try to find a size. Let me see what are the other ones. Um, I'll see that. I'll tell you kind of. Oh, yeah. Let me see those. These let me see the ruler. Stitched. Yeah, these are these stitched. And I'll show you a ruler to show you. These are stitched. Now, these are on a smaller count. But these are about four and a half by five and a half. Now, if you put this on a bigger fabric, you could make it bigger. And if you put that on 10 count, I bet it would be much bigger. I'm going to look at the stitch count size and kind of go from there. To give you an idea. Okay, so 77 by 58. So you could just take 77 by 58 and then figure out the size by your count of fabric. So if you did a 10 count, it would be like 7.5 by 5, 5 and three quarters, something like that. But look, he's got little quilt. He's got a little quilt and oh, little scissors. This is my favorite. It's a sunflower and Cheryl's daughter loves sunflowers. Her name is Carrie. So I think Carrie is getting this one. She doesn't watch, so she won't know. <laughs> but every year Cheryl gives gifts to like, I can't even tell you everybody. And so I have about seven. Cheryl's worked for me for 12 and a half years. And so I have about seven different uh, cross stitches none of them match they're all kind of different and let me tell you when we put our stuff up that stuff I'm like don't touch it has to go in the little Cheryl section so it never gets messed up and then she signs it that's one question that you guys have asked about signing I don't sign but I want you to look at the bottom she has CC and then the year yep and then this one is yeah these are all this this one says this year, I guess. And do you know what fabric that is on there? Yes. We are buying it, and we will have it in a week. It is the Petite Point with red dots on cream, and it's on the way. We have it on order. Okay. Um, Teresa McMass says, how long have you been cross-stitching, Kimberly? Okay, so I learned when I was probably like 15, and I cross-stitched like in college a little bit, and then totally stopped, and then... Um, Lori was like, oh, let's bring cross stitch back. I want to bring cross stitch back. And I was like, let's do it. So, um, I just kind of started doing it and yeah, it's kind of like, you know, and I still quilt just as much. I do the cross stitch more at night and then on the weekends I still, I still quilt all weekend. So now it's like double the, double the work. I just like double my work. 
from Olga Romero, what is the fastest way to find new fabric on FQS? Go to the cross stitch section. Do you mean cross stitch fabric? So I would just go to um, cross stitch section and then there's a section for fabric or cloth and then you could search on the top newest. And eventually we will have a separate cross stitch site separate from the quilting site, but it will not be anytime soon. Because all of those things, like it's a great, it's great to be like, oh, let's do that. It costs money. And when I say money, I mean, I'm not even going to say them out. A lot of money, a lot of time. And um, we don't just have all that money over here right now. And we do have a lot more questions, but again, I'm going to save those for a week down the line. Okay, so we've got some whips. So I've been working on this this week, and I've got a lot more done. This is my boo, and I have made some changes. Um, I have made some changes on it. Yeah, right there. Let me have my little blue. Yeah, right there. Let me see the other one. So I wrote all my notes in my crusted journal, guys, so I can read it to you. So I have made some changes. I decided to go ahead and do deep fennel for my mason jar. And that is the color that was used in chalk full instead of deep fennel, instead of Dublin Bay, because I wanted it to match. I want all of mine to be the same. So I changed that to deep fennel. And then I made all my pumpkins with pumpkin harvest. And I got a question from Gabriel Fuentes that said, if you have the kit and you're in the club, will there be enough orange to do all of the pumpkins orange? And the answer is yes. So that's one of the things I've been working on. Obviously, I worked on Happy Camper. And then I worked on October Cottage of the Month. And I want to give a big shout out. Dot, dot, Goose made me this bag. What? Look. Looks so good. Oh, wait, hold on. There. So there's her little logo. That's yep, amazing. she made me some bags. And I sent her some fabric to make me some more, so I'm super excited. Oh, that's amazing. I know. Me and Denise, we sent her a bunch of fabric. So I, have, I went back to my Mania stack, and I got a lot done on my October. So I basically did the whole the house except for the windows. So that is something that I've been working on. And it fits perfectly in my new dot dot goose bag. She made a second bag. It's at home. And then another thing that Cheryl's been working on. I'm going to tell you a little funny joke. Okay. I know Denise is like, don't tell it. Okay. This is Quaker Moon by Ben Creek. Really, really, really cute. So obviously Cheryl used some different fabrics. She used 32 count Silvery Moon Lugana from her stash, but she says it would look good on Graceful Gray, and she did use the call for DMC. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit, and you see those little words at the bottom? It says spooky. So Denise and I, we got the pattern, and Bent Creek was super nice. They sent us some samples of, like, some of their best sellers, which was great, because a lot of you guys had asked for Bent Creek stuff, so we wanted to know, and we thought it said sexy, so look at it. We were like, why does it say sexy? Oh. <laughs> but look at it. And and the bad thing is we both thought it at the same time and we looked at each other. And oh. it's really it was really funny. So yeah, Cheryl stitched that up. Super cute. She's gonna finish it too. That's funny. I read Spuxy. Spuxy. The first time I saw it. Before yeah, and it's because the bat, like one of the bat wings goes into the pea. Mm -hmm. But I mean, on Cheryl's, it you can't, it doesn't look like that in real life. And then Cheryl has some finish finishes. Oh. I know, seriously. So this is October. Oh, so cute. I know. So what she did, this is Hands on Design, Kathy Haberman. It's the October. So she's shown a couple of the other ones she's done. So these are pop, Tootsie Roll pops. Tootsie Roll pops that she put some Kleenex over for decoration. It's so cute, but wait. Oh, and this is magnet, magneted on. Where's the other little? Right here. Okay, hold on. This is so funny. Me and Denise were cracking up. Okay. Okay, so see the little handle? So she went and bought, she bought little bows. Okay, wait. It's a ghost. It's a ghost bow oh for a little girl's hair. Oh. And she thought it, when she had it on, she didn't think it showed up enough. 
So then she put this bow on and these are just little bows that you put in little girl's hair. And I said, oh, did you go to the fancy hair places? And she said, no, I went to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> I didn't know they had hair bows at Hobby mm -hmm. Lobby, but mm -hmm. Emma has never worn a hair bow in her life. So how would I know? Anyway, that's super cute. So I told her we were going to show both bows because... Look at the googly eyes on the... Oh, the googly eyes. Amazing. Lily likes the googly I love eyes. the googly eyes. So, um, that's one of her finishes. Another one of her finishes is All Hollows Eve by Prairie Schooler. And, um, I will just say Cheryl loves Halloween, so, um, you're gonna die. Okay, back. Okay, I'm gonna back up. Okay, there. So it's framed and she does have museum glass on it. And she used the called for DMC. She tends to, on the prairie schoolers, keep the DMC the same. And so she got it professionally framed. And so those are some of her finishes. Yay! So let me know if you have any other uh, questions on finishes because I have some other stuff. Okay. Uh, I know there was a question about finishing. Okay. From Caroline Yoneta, she said, Kimberly, can you do a tutorial on how to display cross stitch besides frames or pillows? So we have some videos that the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch have done for us on finishing. She is the finishing expert. In fact, I'm going to show you right now what she finished this morning within the last hour. It is our Bloomtopia Charity Cross Stitch. So she's going to, Lily's going to pop it up. So she finished that this morning. Isn't it so pretty? So she just basically bought a frame from Hobby Lobby and the cross stitch is in the center. We use the quilting fabric from Summer Sweet by Sherry and Chelsea since it is matching that and on the top is just a pretty burlap bow and then she put the little nest in there. So I'll be able to show it next week and so that's just another photo she did. So yes, we are going to be doing more videos like that. Um, Priscilla's son moved like literally five miles from here. So I'm sure when she comes, yeah, he moved to South Park Meadows. I wish I said that, but yeah, he moved here about a month ago. So when she comes, oh, Lily lives there. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. In the apartments right by the mall, by the mall. Oh. So, um, so I'm sure she's going to do some more videos with us. Of course, Chelsea also. Um, I have been showing each week how you can do different things like this. So next week I have all the pictures done on how I did this. So yes. Okay, let's hear questions here. Okay, we got lots. Okay. From Sharon Bergmeyer, you just said you've had someone working for you for 12 and a half years. How old is your company? 16 years. So uh, Cheryl came to work for us the week before Emma was born. Emma was born April 5th, 2007, and she used to rock Emma to sleep because I could not get that child to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and Cheryl bought Emma this little doggy one time. And Emma used, I swear she slept with that doggy for like seven years. And anytime Cheryl's name is brought up, Emma says, is she the one that bought doggy? And her, the name of the stuffed animal was doggy. So Cheryl is known for the doggy. Also, I just remember too, we have, um, if you need more ideas on finishing, we have our series that we did for Jolly July. So yes. they're more um, holiday oriented, but still slightly different ideas. If you want more ideas there. Yes, and we're going to finish those up mm -hmm. like in the next month or so. We're going to, um, they're all stitched. We're going to just do it. We're just going to finish them all and then put them on a, we're going to find a cuter tree than the tree we have now and then just decorate it. And then it'll be on our new set and we'll just have that tree up. So you, and we might rotate the tree so you can see the different, um, I don't know. They want me to do a white tree. I'm not a fan of white trees, but. I don't really know what we're gonna do. Pink tree. I think Cody said white. I didn't say white. I want pink. Oh no. <laughs> or like blue, like teal. Yes, it would look so good. Pink. Oh my word. Okay. I don't I know. I just like want pink. a tree. I don't really know what I want. I can't decide. I'm not a good decorator. You just have multiple colors of trees, and then decide. Have a forest of trees. Forest in the film room. I love it. Okay. Uh, Rebecca Jane says, "How many strands do you use for 18 count Two. Okay. 
and from Teresa McMath, are Lori Holes patterns beginner friendly? Yes. I ordered the fall pattern, will be trying it during hockey practices, will I be able to eat my way through it? Yes, so this was stitched on Lori Holt's 10 count. And so 10 count is really big holes. And I did this, I did a lot of this at my son's baseball. It's the oatmeal and it's on the model side. Uh, my, one of my sons plays baseball. And so I spent a lot of time last year doing this at his baseball games because this was released last year. And I can remember just sitting at his baseball games um, stitching this. Yeah, a lot of questions here. Uh, Priscilla and Chelsea did vote for white tree. Oh, maybe sorry. it was Priscilla and Chelsea that wanted the white tree. Oh, sorry guys. Maybe. <laughs> maybe um, for you. Also on the subject, Holly O'Brien had said, good morning, three months until Christmas Eve. Today's the oh, 25th. really? Yeah, today's September 25th. <sighs> woo, woo! It's almost time, guys. Oh my goodness, gotta get ready. I'm, I'm the worst purchaser of gifts. You got three months. Start now. Um, from Kim Fishland, do you have any advice for getting stains out of a project that's been finished but not FDO'd? Um, FFO'd means finally finished object, I think. Um, I don't know. The only thing I really use in my house is the Tide Stick, and I have a bunch of them, and I have it in my quilting room, and I use it all the time. I've never used it on a cross-stitch cloth, luckily. Cross my fingers. Um, but uh, I use Tide Stick all the time. But I'm sure there's other ways. I did want to mention the Stitching with the Housewives bags are now back in stock. They sold out. These are by Priscilla and Chelsea who were just chatting. And they had sold out temporarily, so we got some more. Just because we had some people asking, so. And then Dot Dot Goose Design was asking, where can you get the pattern for charity and where can we donate? So for the donation, we will put the link below. It is the Make-A-Wish link. We have already raised $3,000. I am so excited. Um, we're hoping to get to 50,000. So, uh, that pattern will be released in January and it's going to coincide with the quilt along and we have floss packs that are now in stock and we have an R floss pack and a DMC pack. We will have some cute little bags, some needle minders and some little charms and fabric, all that stuff. Um, super, super exciting. But if you want to stitch along with us, let me know, Denise, email me, and maybe I can get you that earlier if you're a blogger. So. Um, Lauren Miller had said, whose picture is hanging over your right shoulder? Oh, that's that my one. daughter. Yeah. Okay, so that's Kevin, and that's Emma. These are about three years old. So for here, okay, so let me see. Let's see. This is Peyton. He's the one that's real funny and tells jokes. This is Will. He's very smart and very serious, and you better not break any rules. This is Emma, the dancer, and this is Christopher, the wrestler. He wants to be a WWE wrestler and um, I'm predicting a broken arm in our house at some point. And I told Kevin when that happens, he's taking him to the ER because I cannot control the wrestling in the house. But the problem is Kevin does the wrestling too. So that does not help the situation. So when somebody breaks their arm, it's not going to be me at that I'm gonna, Kevin's right there, he's on the ticket. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, is this a good time for other questions we've had? Yeah, um, yeah, and then I can do shout outs and other stuff in a bit. Okay, so from Carolyn Pons, uh, what are some ways to soften Ada fabric? Some of it is very stiff and I've tried soaking it and steaming it. I don't really know. Um, I've read that people wash it, but if you wash it, it might distort. I really don't know. Um, I don't know. Uh, from Cindy Stevenson, I just started using Lori's Lugana and I love it. When is she coming out with new colors? Soon. Uh, very soon. She's working on that right now. Um, so as soon as Riley Blake can get it made, it will be here. I'll be the first store to buy it. From Nicole Wasik, she said, Good morning, ladies. I have to share that I purchased the drawer cabinet from Hobby Lobby <gasps> last night for my cross stitch. Love it. Okay, so we're going to stop right there and we're going to go from here. Okay, so I totally copied Lori, totally given her credit because I copy everything Lori does. Um, I don't think it's good to copy other people, but with permission, you can. So I'm going to show you my cabinet. Okay, so here's my cabinet. On the top, I put a quilt that is the crazy quilt paper from Lori Holt. I'm going to show that in this Friday's live stream for quilting. And those are my drawers, and they're so organized. So I'm going to show you the top row. 
the top row, I got some little inserts from Michaels. They are double stacked, so I have floss below it. And so I've just put my skeins in the front and my floss flowers in the back. And then my second drawer is just different colors. I organized... Oh, yeah, go to the second one. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so then, so, and I organized mine similar to Lori's. Um, Lori has more fancy floss than I do. I'm not really into fancy floss too much. Um, I prefer DMC, so I've got my DMC there. And then my next, so those little white containers came from Michaels. They were hard to find. I had to go to three Michaels to get all 24 of those. Actually, Kevin went and got some of them for me also. And then my next drawer, I got those white containers on the left and the right at the container store. And um, on the left, I've got some floss flowers, scissors. That's a little light that I put around my neck sometimes. And the next, I have stickers. Those are Lori Holt stickers. Oh, oh wait. Sorry. So the stickers I put on the front of my floss. And then on the right side, I just have some fabrics and some patterns below it. And then below, that is all fabrics. And... Um, so that's my little floss case. I'm, I'm super excited about my floss because now I can go home and kind of pick colors easier. It's easier for me to do it at home. Um, I'm super excited about being organized. And so I did take some stuff and put it on eBay that I needed to get rid of. So if you want to look at some $5 stuff, it's on eBay under Fat Quarter Shop. I'm just trying to get rid of old cross stitch. So anything that didn't fit in my cabinet, I got rid of. I have a full set of Anchor and a um, half set of Cosmo, and Emma organized those for me, and I had to put them in my closet because they would not fit, and that's totally okay. I don't use those as much, um, and I found some fancy floss that um, I wasn't going to use, so I sent two shipments to Lori. Um, Lori actually sent some yesterday, too, so Lori's cabinet now is not going to fit, so that's what she gets for sharing her cabinet. She's going to have cabinets. She's going to have so much floss, it's not going to fit her cabinet now. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's super exciting. And then the photo she just showed was me at base baseball, so that is me at baseball stitching Happy Camper. My son got to pitch this week, so that was, that was kind of exciting, but kind of nerve-wracking but he's so cute he got out there and did the little he had his moves he had we were like impressed we were like what is he decided he he just went up to the coach and said can i be the pitcher and it's like little it's like little he's only eight he looks like he's 12 but he's eight okay and then um from angie mishler i apologize if it's been asked before but is there a lugana count that is equivalent to 14 count eva there's 25 count Lugana. I'm not sure if there's 28 count, um, but 25 count is easy enough for me to see and it works really well. I know that there are a lot of 25 counts out there. Um, we have a couple colors and we obviously are gonna be stocking all of Lori's new colors when she comes out with them. Um, from Dot Dot Goose Design, how's Piggy feeling? Oh, he's good. He's good. He's better. From Robin Heinrich, uh, love it all. I'm an Ada lover too. I do want to try even weave, but I'm afraid I won't be able to. What even weave do you suggest for a newbie? I would start with Lugana. So I used Lugana, Lori's, and Lori was like, you can do it. It's fine. I was like, I can't see it. She's like, just do it. Just do it. You can do it. So I did it and it's totally fine. It was totally easy. Um, it was just as good. It was just as um, easy as Ada. I had no problem. I don't think I would ever do linen linen because it's not even and I just don't think I could. I don't think that I would like the texture of it and um, how it's not as even. So Lugana, and it's really soft and easy. So um, I would start with Lori's 25 count oatmeal Lugana. And I like how that one has two sides, one side that is modeled and one that is plain. From Rose Smith, good morning. My question is that my stitches don't look like a crisp X like I see everyone else's cross stitch. What am I doing wrong? So I would unthread your needle, let your thread fall, put your needle through the two strands, make it straight and kind of go like this. And then when I stitch, I would railroad. We have a video on how to railroad and I would railroad your top stitches and that should help you. But just stopping and then just straightening your floss 
will help. Um, Gabriel Flint has said, can you make a fancy floss pack for the charity cross stitch? Uh, no, sorry. We're gonna just do our floss and DMC. And Candy Kerr, is there a code for the 20% off cross stitch cart? Uh, they are automatically 20% off on the site. So if you just go, it should already the sale. It should already be on sale for you to make it easy. Okay. And then Lillian Roth was asking, is the dresser sturdy? It is sturdy. It's like it's not going to be like something you would get at Bassett Furniture or Costco. It's 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 a little. It sits fine. It's what you would expect for $154, but it is cute, and Kevin likes it. And I'm going to tell you that I set it up all by myself. I went home early that day. I didn't tell him why. I just was like, oh, I'm going to go, because I didn't want to, like, and I carried the box. Well, Peyton did help me. We carried the box in. We carried it to my room. Peyton helped me take it off. I lifted it, and we put it down. I was able to do it all by myself. I had it all set up so that when he came home, and he liked it. So... I wouldn't say it's like the, it has a lot of really bad reviews on Hobby Lobby. I don't think it deserves those reviews. It's what you're going to get for $154. Sometimes people think, okay, let me pay $154, but let me expect a piece of furniture that's worth $1,000. If you want something sturdy and real nice, you got to pay for that. So like that's, that was kind of like when I was looking at the Hobby Lobby reviews, I'm like, what do you expect for $154? But it's cute and I really like how the doors, the drawers don't fall out. They have a little hook and that hook you can just, if you want to pull the whole drawer out, you just push your finger down. And so um, it was super easy for me to get all those drawers in. I just measured the drawers and then of course Lori found me the two at Michael's and I was like, are you sure? So I had to go to three Michaels to get all the drawers, but yes. And my kids all helped me, um, except Peyton. He got really mad about organizing the floss. He would not do the floss unless he got to do all of it. But there was so much that there was not, and he, there's no way he could have done it all. So he got mad that somebody else touched the floss before him. Oh. But that's okay. He just probably didn't really want to do it. Um, from Margie Nell, do you have a tutorial on stitching over two? I don't really get it. Yes, we do, and um, Cheryl did that tutorial for us. It is on our Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube, and you can just scroll through the tutorial section. Uh, okay, from Teresa Carlton Huser, what pattern is on the pillow? So on the pillow, I used a combination of Farm Girl Fall and Stitch Cards A and B. So I used uh, the tractor and the scarecrow from B, the baby chick from A, and then I used the maple leaf, the acorn, the furrows, the pumpkin, the sunflower, and the turkey from Farm Girl Fall. And then Lori, when she made hers, she used all three except she, she also did Happy Farm Girl. And then last question here from the Academic Stitcher. How soon do you expect the Petite Point Linen with red dots? Probably this week. <laughs> we ordered it uh, about a week and a half ago. So we um, basically just need to get it in and um, cut it up. Okay. Do you want to do shoutouts? Yeah, so let's do shoutouts. First, I want to give a big thank you to Dot Dot Goose. I'm going to show you her bag again. She sells on Etsy. And if you want to buy one of her bags, Dot Dot Goose Design on Etsy. We also have a tutorial on how to make a whip bag on our channel if you want to make one, but ours is much bigger. It's on the quilting channel, sorry. Sorry, it is on the quilting channel, she says. I'm so sorry. But um, whip bag, super cute. I love it. Thank you to her. Y'all go buy a bag from her. I was so excited to get it. Confetti can for dot dot goose. And then I have two big thank yous. So I got this bag. Okay, this is like the cutest thing ever. Oh my god! Have you not seen it? I have not seen it. It's from Suzanne Kempton. She's oh. from Australia. Okay, let me tell you something. Oh, Look at Nikki. Very gorgeous. I know. So um, she put me a little nice note, so I left it there. But I haven't taken it home um, yet. But my kids are probably going to fight over it. Oh my it's god. so cute, right? It's a little piggy. It's amazing. And then Judy sent me <gasps> this. Hugs and kisses. I know. It's a cross-stitch oh. chart. So like, it's like a little... Chart. So cute. I know. So those were my thank yous. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, yeah, so I am excited open. that I get to take, this is my favorite one, the little one with the little puggy. Yay, go pugs. I know, and then I showed Kevin, and he was like, oh my gosh, like more pug stuff. <laughs> because he just does not understand how much I love that dog. Well, he does understand, he just doesn't understand. He doesn't get it, get it. Mm -hmm. Okay, shout outs. Okay, shout outs. Okay, so we have got B. Lori. That is Lori. Oh my gosh, she's all done. So pretty. So that's hers, and she's all done. So she did, that's the one that she actually has here on the set, but that was before she framed it. And this is Rusty Quilts. And she is, she, she's the one that I really liked last week too, that had the, the cat in the front and the cat in the back. And then she added like a, what do you call that, like Lily? A banner? Yeah, the, I think there's a yeah banner. like what do you call that though? It's, it's like a little a, banner. I don't know how she a, did it. Pennant banner. Pennant banner. Not, not. It's so cute. So cute. Oh, a bunting. Bunting. So I don't know how she made that, but that is really cute. Um, and I know Lori's gonna love that too. Oh, and at the bottom of her door, she put a little step, like you're oh, coming out the door. So that's different. And then in her window, she put like a little. Oh, the curtains. Yeah, so cute. That's amazing. And then Shannon Bromo. I have a finish. I'm so thrilled with my Happy Camper cross stitch. And that is cute. And I love her little doggy ears. Oh, yeah, like, oh. oh my gosh, these are Scotty dogs. <sighs> so this is Sherry Smart. She says both dogs on board, and I'm done. Can't wait to see everyone else's. Oh, so cute. Got a Texas flag. Oh, she did. Back. Yeah. Check that out. That is cute. Yes. And then um, this is Jana Glosson loving the new hands-on design chart. The pumpkin frame is from Hobby Lobby. So I love the way she framed this. Um, I'm going to be stitching this chart. I'm going to be using DMC, and I love it. And I thought that um, that you like guys would like to see it. She also posted that in stitching with the housewives group. It's really pretty. Oh, and then this is like a camper, so she put it, oh. um, she put the cross stitch on her camper, so that's super cute. And this is Jingle Lynn. Jingle Lynn. And so she put Miss Daisy Dog and I have been under the weather. Daisy has an ear infection, so I've had a lot of time to stitch. This is Chalk Full Boo Jar by Priscilla and Hands on Design. I changed up the colors and used two strands for the mason jar. I will FFO it as soon as it's done. FFO means finally finished object, so that means fully framed. I don't know if that's even the right word. That's the name I came up with. Mm -hmm. And she's doing hers like mine, but she, I think she's using a lot of different oranges. I'm just using the same orange. Mm -hmm. Oh, Daisy feels better. Yes. Okay, we'll go back to the beginning. Yay! Yay! So awesome, guys. Thanks for joining me. I totally appreciate it. I can't wait for Stitchtober. Um, you guys have a great week, and I can't wait to see what all you guys are stitching on. Yay, bye -bye.